All right, this week I'm just going to talk about uh, the cauliflower family. So we've got the traditional cauliflower here. We've got, this is a Romanesco, which has these weird fractal repeating patterns on it. Uh, the uh, broccoli, and uh, purple sprouting broccoli, and there's also cake broccoli that we grow. So they have similar flavors, but they do have different seasons. I mean, cauliflower is really best from September right through the winter until May. The Romanesco is in season from September through until November. Broccoli um, is really only in season in the UK from June through to the end of October. And the purple sprouting is not really in season at the moment. The height of the season is probably March through April. All these vegetables can be substituted for one another in recipes, but it's quite important that they, when you chop it up, you get them all into more or less the same size pieces so that they're going to cook uh, at the same rate. So the Romanesco, treat it just the same as a cauliflower. Um, it does actually, the florets are kind of longer and thinner and um, I think sometimes cook a bit better so you can just break them off or cut them off. It does have a wonderful crunchy texture and as you cook it, it, it keeps that crunchiness probably better than a cauliflower and it has a, I think it has a more interesting, sweeter, slightly sort of nutty flavor. I really like the Romanesco. Broccoli or another name for it is Calabrese. Um, treat in the same way. The stalk itself can be wonderfully tender. I normally just slice it and cook it in with the florets. But yeah, really don't throw that bit away. It's wonderfully sweet. If you're cooking purple sprouting broccoli, really the decision you have to make is how, how tough it is. Sometimes the base of the stalk, this one here, is going to be pretty tough down here. Generally, if you break it and you get a tough bit like that, you know it's going to be tough and it's worth peeling it. But the center of the stalk itself, I mean, like a lot of these, is really, really sweet. And I mean, it just tastes wonderful. So, you know, if you can be bothered to peel it, it's definitely, uh, there's some good eating in there. Another really favorite recipe of mine, you can do this with, with any of these, is to just blanch them. So take these curds, plunge them into salted boiling water for about three minutes. And then I take them out of the water, keep the water, cook your pasta in the water, so that's about eight minutes. And while the pasta's cooking, you just fry up some garlic and uh, chili and add, then add the florets that you've cooked into that. And that should be just about cooked as you drain the pasta. And then you've got supper, really, really simple. It takes about 15 minutes to feed the family. Great recipe. Bit of chopped parsley on top, perhaps. Love it. <laughs>